In this video, we're going to take a look at the projection mode of your camera. Now, this will be a really short video because there's only a couple of them, and they're both pretty cut and dry, but I didn't want to slight them by trying to squeeze them in with anything else because using an orthographic camera in your game might seem like a bad idea at first, but you can utilize it and do some cool things with it. Now, here inside of our camera settings for our main camera, we see our projection, and we, ha we are set to perspective by default. That's why when we play the game... Uh, we have a sense of depth. We can see trees that you know kind of get smaller as they go off into the distance. However, if we switch over to an orthographic view, well, in terms of a first-person controller, this really is useless. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything particularly fun with it. At the same time, though, if we were to do something really bizarre, like take our main camera or even our first-person controller and just delete it, completely get rid of it, and then bring in a brand new camera. So let's go to Create and drop in a camera, which we could go ahead and call Main Camera if we wanted to. Let's just say Main Camera. And we'll even put this into uh, the Main Camera tag. Now, not that that's going to do us much good, but it's just kind of a habit. Now, we can take our camera, and we can move it up above our level. Say, uh, let's just kind of get ourselves positioned right about here. Well, the beauty part of it is with an orthographic camera, we don't even have to move it. All we have to do is point it in the direction you want it to be. Exactly, but what I'm doing is I'm getting kind of a, a position that I like based off of my current uh, uh, I viewport. see what you're doing. Yeah, so I can just come over here to Game Object and say Align with View. And now we can take our main camera and set its projection over to orthographic. So now if I was to play the game, we can see the whole world from this isometric three-quarter view. Now, you can make games this way. There are, uh, like, strategy games, real-time mm -hmm. strategy games work like this. Uh, games like Diablo work like this. Yeah. And all you'd have to do is have a control scheme that fit well with this type of game, and you'd be good to go. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a quick look at the two projection types you have. I just wanted to make sure I got to drive home that uh, even though the orthographic uh, projection mode is... It's useless if you're doing a first-person uh, kind of game or if you're using the first-person controller. It's not a useless system to use when making your own games. Right. You can use it for isometric games. You can use it for top-down uh, shooters. You can use it for side-scrollers, mm -hmm. platform games. There's a lot of uses for it. Right. And I just I want to make sure people weren't writing that off. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you for watching.